Hello and a very good morning to all our viewers watching the breaking on CNN News 18 with me Sakshi Singh Litori over the next one hour we'll be bringing you all the top headlines from the nation and across the globe. At the top of this segment discussing the much debated leader of opposition Rahul Gandhi's visit to the United States where well, Rahul has stoked a fresh row during his visit to the US Dallas specifically in a big attack at the RSS Rahul Gandhi claimed that the RSS and BJP have hijacked the education system of India on ideological basis and that most of the vice chancellors indeed have a background of the RSS he praises China, says that it is dominating the global production and has no unemployment issue in their country. He has also taken a jibe at the Devta comment. He said that Devta in India actually means a person whose internal feelings are exactly the same as his external expression, meaning he is a completely transparent being. It does not mean God. Listen in to what the leader of opposition actually said. The RSS believes that India is one idea and we believe that India is a multiplicity of ideas. We believe that everybody should be allowed to participate. We believe that everybody should be allowed to dream. Every should, everybody should be given space regardless of their caste, language, religion, tradition, history. This is the fight. And the fight was crystallized in the election when millions of people in India clearly understood that the Prime Minister of India is attacking the Constitution of India. Gandhi and the Congress party have made it clear that their only objective is to spread falsehood against India. Their objective is divide and rule and their loyalties lie with China because of the secret MOU that the Congress party had with the Communist Party of China. The world is aware that how China is facing a youth unemployment crisis and India is emerging as a global manufacturing hub. Rahul does not stop here. He predicts social tensions in India because the Congress party might be planning something big in its strategy of dividing communities in India. He attacks the Indian judicial system and the legal system just because he's out on bail. And he attacks the Hindu Sanatan concept of Devta. This has made it clear that Rahul Gandhi and the entire Indian alliance in order for their attempt to grab power can go to any extent to damage Bharat. They were rejected in 2014, they were rejected in 2019 and they were rejected in 2024 and they will be rejected in 2029. Rahul's speech is against everything that India and Bharat stands for. So Devta in, in India actually means a person whose internal feelings are exactly the same as his external expression. Meaning he's a completely transparent being. Right? It does not mean God. So if, if this person tells me every single thing that he believes or he thinks and he tells it to me, that's the definition of Devta. So to me, that is interesting about our politics. How do you, how do you suppress your own ideas? Right? How do you suppress your own fear? Or how do you suppress your own greed? Or how do you suppress your own ambition? Our senior editor Pallavi Ghosh is joining us live on the broadcast. Pallavi, a very good morning to you. This Rahul Gandhi and his connection with China has been much debated already with BJP continuously mounting an attack on him. This time around this new comment coming in over the un um, unemployment challenge in China as and in India has given us uh, an added on, you know, sort of point for the BJP to mount an attack on the leader of the opposition. That's right, Sakshi, because, uh, uh, you know, he was especially talking to students in Dallas and he was talking in the context of skills, he was talking in the context of education. And that's when he made that comparison to China, saying that in stark contrast, China does not have this kind of an unemployment issue, uh, even though India has better skill facilities. Well, of course, it's going to stoke and I think it's already begun to, as far as comments on China is concerned. And not just this, I mean, you know, in the past also when he said that China is stronger than us economically in terms of military, uh, you know, caliber. And also the fact that he met up with the Chinese ambassador at the time of the Galvan controversy was taking place. Uh, the BJP has begun to attack Rahul Gandhi and accused him of actually being the one who's, con uh, you know, compromising 
on the idea of India or national unity and integrity and making comments, especially when you're abroad. You know, when you run down your own country, and I'm using the words of the BJP, according to BJP, when you run down your own country and govern on a foreign soil, you are one, painting a very incorrect and wrong picture about your country. And second, you only end up emboldening our enemies across the border. Definitely, Pallavi. Also, another thing, apart from the China angle, that BJP continuous, uh, continuously mounts an attack on when it comes to, you know, the matters of Congress, is whenever Rahul Gandhi goes overseas, he starts attacking Indian uh, functionaries over there. How exactly Congress is now, you know, sort of retaliating towards BJP with every statement that the leader of opposition has passed? Well, not just now. I mean, I think the Congress has always retaliated. And in fact, they show out an earlier video of the Prime Minister when he became the PM first in 2014. And he would go abroad. And over there, you know, he would talk about the fact that how there was corruption before he came to power, how every time you had to pay money to get work done. So according to a Congress party, if this is not an example of the PM running down his own country, you know, no matter they may be a political opponent, they may be your own country, then why should the BJP put these kind of accusations on the Congress? Right. Also, Pallavi, this uh, picture which is going viral of, you know, Sam Petroda receiving Rahul Gandhi is also something which is being debated much. If you could uh, shed some light on that as well. I think uh, we under need to understand that Sam Petroda is now being reinstated as a chairperson of the Indian Overseas Congress. Uh, he was removed when bang in the middle of the Lok Sabha elections. The IOC chairperson uh, Sam Petroda was asked to step down because of his comments on the inheritance tax, which was something which was not suiting the Congress's line or his campaign for the 2024 Lok Sabha elections. I think that, that comment of Sam Petroda is going more viral where he introduces Rahul Gandhi by saying, that he is very intelligent, he's more intellectual than the BJP and he's not a puppu. Those words are now being used by the BJP to say that this is Sam Petroda's acknowledgement of the fact that Rahul Gandhi himself is actually a puppu. Right. Pallavi, please stay on with us. We have BJP's R.P. Singh Ji joining us on the broadcast. Mr. R.P. Singh, thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, what would be your thought about this particular statement coming in from the leader of the opposition with regards to the unemployment challenge faced by China and then by India? He said that China certainly is not facing any such problem with that heavy population, but India is still facing it. Well, that clearly shows that the document which is signed with the China uh, Communist Party of China, he still... Uh, goes by that uh, line of the toes, the line of the China, where he always praises China and then demeans India. The fact is that uh, he doesn't know that today uh, women are being employed under Lakhpati scheme of the Prime Minister drone. Uh, Didi are being made uh, in every village and then technology is being used by the Prime Minister uh, Modi scheme where women are being employed. But that point is that the biggest issue which he has raised, which we are missing on is that he is saying that India is not a nation. He is still, uh, Mr. even. Sam Pradhuda, they are talking about that India is union of states, uh, as, as if India was they has been created after 1947. The fact is, India has been a nation thousands of years, 5,000, 10,000 years. But they keep reiterating that, that India is union of states. And they are not aware that uh, the uh, Pandas from Kerala go to Badrinath, or Pandas from Karadka goes to Kedarnath, or Pandas from Ch uh, Chennai, uh, Tamil Nadu goes to Kashi Vishwanath. Uh, Maharaja Ranjit Singh, he offered gold to Harimandar in Amritsar and also to Kashi Vishwanath. So, India has been one nation throughout, but they don't accept that India has been a nation. They, mm -hmm. India has been culturally one nation and that we believe in, that the ideology of BJP is that India has been a culturally one nation. And the, the, the language which Mr. Rahul Gandhi speaks or his uh, fellows speak, that India is union of states, the same language is being used by Khalistani Amrit, uh, Khalistani, uh, that, uh, Amrit Pal Singh. He also said that India is union of states, so we as a state have a separate right to identify and, and decide our future course of action. So that's the problem, that they don't want India to be seen as one cultural nation. Hmm. Right, Mr. Singh. Thank you so much for speaking to CNN News 18 and putting your perspective across. Going back to our senior editor, Pallavi co continues to stay with us on the broadcast. Pallavi, this Devta remark that the leader of the opposition specifically mentioned over there, it does look like, uh, you know, a concealed or an invisible attack at the BJP. What's your idea? Well, towards the end of that comment, he talks about the fact that, you know, this has become something which is a part of our politics. 
very clearly that's a dig i would say at the prime minister that how the bjp portrays him as a devta as god where that's not really what devtas are all about and he says that devta 